Bow. Today is June 11th. Sorry, excuse me. Today is June 11th, and we have finally received Culture 3. It is upon arrival that it has uh, 19 songs and like an hour and something long. The only song I know here is Needed featuring NBA Youngboy, which I love that song by the way, so I'm not gonna skip that. Uh, it has features from Polo G, Cardi B, Drake, Future, Justin Bieber, Juice World, which I'm very surprised for, and Pop Smoke. I'm, you already know I'm interested in that Juice World. I just want to try. I need to hear what the fuck that nigga recorded. Cause you don't write and that that gives me it makes me excited to, to see a rapper that don't write and makes hits like nothing. Anyway, let's start with the first track, Avalanche. I seen a snippet of this yesterday, but I didn't actually watch the full video. I think it was on Jimmy Fallon it said. But that didn't look like a Jimmy Fallon set, so I don't know. But yeah. Avalanche intro track. Wow, next song is a trick. They really want this album to go good. Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he went and I was his throne. And when I know they love you. I am sensing another classic upon us. I may be speaking too soon. I might be speaking too soon, but I'm I'm sensing another classic. Culture, culture was a classic. Culture two had us up and down. Going up and down. Culture three. I don't know yet, but I'm sensing a classic. Sensing it. But we have 18 more tracks to go, and we shall see. Next track, Having Our Way, featuring Drizzy Drake. Y'all really put Drake first, bro? This is a Drake song now. Anybody, everybody knows when you put Drake first and he's the feature, it's Drake's song. He doesn't. Oh my gosh. I got it, man. They really put Drake first, man. He's the feature. What the fuck are you doing? I've been too solid to ever have strikes on my sneaks. You get what I mean? Back in the day, whoa, my whoa, 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 whoa. I've been too solid to ever have strikes on my sneaks. You get what I mean? Back. Strikes on my sneaks. Did he say stripes or strikes? Hold on, 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 hold on. I gotta look that up. Having my hour away. I gotta talk shit. I gotta look that up. Having our way lives. Did he say stripes or strikes? Oh nah, nigga said I've been too solid to ever have stripes on my sneaks. You get what I mean? You get what I mean? Fuck yeah, I caught that shit, nigga. Hold on, let me say that shit one more time, yo. Connect to the beast. I've been too solid to ever have strikes on my sneaks. You get what I mean? Back. Nike boy for real. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? Fuck them strikes, nigga. Hey, my dog, she had it her way, now she had it with me. Oh, 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 I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. We all know what happened. 
I like take off giving the ad libs between the between the hook. Hold on, hold on. Take off. Oh wait. Take off. 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 Take no way, I, I can't catch the takeoff yet. I, I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Take off! I'm gonna catch it. I, I don't have the voice for it, but I'm gonna catch it. Straighten it. I think I heard this one before. Yeah, I see the music video for this. But I didn't get to upload it because it got copyrighted. So I'm gonna listen to it now. I, I already heard it, and I, I know my favorite part already. And I, oh, and I seen little Baby made a little jab at them. He was like, just need a little bit of straightening, and then he put like a whole bunch of laughing emojis. If y'all don't know the beef with Migos and Lil Baby, YouTube it. Cause I, I could just tell y'all. Uh, apparently, there was a story that went out. Not, not even a story that went out. There was an incident that happened one night at a club. Uh, Offset got beat up or got jumped by uh, Lil Baby. Lil, Lil Baby's crew members. That, that's the story. I don't know if it's true or not, but Offset got jumped by Offset crew members. No, no, no. Yeah, wait, no. Offset got jumped by Lil Baby's crew members outside of a club or some shit like that. And there's a video of it, but you don't see Offset. But you, you hear a Lil Baby or someone that sounds like Lil Baby running out and trying to stop the fight. I don't know how the, how the fight started. I don't know how it ended, but... That's the rumor. I've seen the video. It's probably still up on YouTube. News never came out about it. Nobody ever really said anything about it because it never went out there. Like, I don't know how it did go out there. Like, two famous rappers fought each other. Well, two, well, a rapper got jumped by his own friend, crew. Like, QC and QC signed both of them, if I'm not mistaken. So, it's a little shaky between them right now. If you, if you didn't know, now you know. If there's another story that you know, place it in the comments, because I need to know what the fuck going on between them. Type shit feature of Cardi B. We the best fusion. Side the snake, all these dudes that I've done day. Couldn't let these fuck hoes down, but I let them ride my way. Man, these hoes took a real late. This the type shit, bro. This the type shit that get your bitch in. This the type shit that got you trending. I like that song. I like it. I like it. I like it. Next song, Malibu featuring Polo G. I got 25 L's in the bank, no cap, no lie. This is my ride, but I'm like drink. Run it up, call my cross, I'm crazy. What? Tennessee, she getting lit. Toast and three, splitting dick. Six deep in suburban, so felonies. We with the shit. 25 L's in the bank, no cap, no lie. This is my Oh, he said no cap, no lie. I thought he said no cap, no lie. Polo G, Polo capitalized. I thought he was making a reference. Songs they put out, but that's one of the hardest. One of the hardest songs they put out. One of them. 
Next song, Taxi. Scott, Travis Scott, like not, not a diss, but a Travis Scott reference. Yeah. They thought I was born up in Houston when I bought the Gucci link with the rocket. They thought I was born up from Houston when they saw about the Gucci link with the fuck. They saw they thought I was from Houston when they saw about the Gucci link with the rocket. Travis Scott, Houston was born in Houston, Ash the World, Rocket. <laughs> So feature the future. the same beat everything juice world's on now it has a violin on it or it has like some kind of like sad music to it we don't want to feel sad we know he's gone y'all should have left the beat i'm sure he was hype the, the beat was hype it was like a, oh i ain't feel love in a minute but but I'm sure that was not the beat. And they switched it because he died. I, I, I just looked up the, the lyrics to the song to see if it was leaked. I don't know if it was leaked or not, but. Oh my gosh. Whoever's changing the beat for Juice Will's song, please stop. Cause it's getting annoying now. All of them got violins. So Legends Never Die, damn near the whole album has violins on all of his tracks. And I'm sure that's not how we wanted it. I'm sure that's not how he recorded it. All of them got violins on it or like some kind of sad music to it. Y'all better put some sad music to Pop Smoke too. Ain't he on this album? Right, he on this album. If he ain't, if he ain't got no sad music, I'm calling, I'm, I'm calling grade A. Asking them what the fuck is going on. I'll fuck your bitch in your spot. Young nigga running around too hot. Young nigga burnt out, burnt out. Twin pulling up, so we burnt out. Sweet dick, that you turned out.
Next song, Handle My Business. I like that one. I like that one. I just didn't like Handle My Business and uh, Why Not and The Morning Polo G. Maybe I gotta listen to those again. That was basically the, the last song. I mean, there's one more. There's, there's, there's two more. But like, that was basically like the end of the album. Well, it should have been. Next song is Light It Up featuring Pop Smoke. Shoot by the tray. When walking my diamond gon' skate. They try to revive him too late. Too late. I put a cape on the drape. Put a thought on the plot. She Offset needs to mind needs to watch what he's saying, you know. Cause even on the Polo G track, he said something about a nigga dying from Percocets. Polo G was friends with Juice Will and Juice Will died from Percocets. He on a song with Pop Smoke. I don't know if this was pre recorded that's if it's pre-recorded though. But still, he's on a song with Pop Smoke, and he just not said. I, I know it's not pertaining to Pop Smoke. I know, I know this, the other part is not pertaining to Juice World. But come on, bro. If you know somebody died from Percocets, don't mention it in the song. If you know somebody's friend died from Percocets, don't mention it in the song. If you know somebody got shot and tried to get resuscitated and couldn't make it. Don't put that in a song with a nigga who legit got shot and tried to get resuscitated and didn't make it. What did he say? Diamond gon' skate. They tried to revive him too late. Too late. They tried to revive him too late. I know it's not. I know it's not directed at Pop Smoke, but come on, bro. Come on. They tried to revive him. It's too late. We all know Pop Smoke got shot. By the time the ambulance reached, or the, by the time they was going to our hospital or whatever, he died. You gotta watch what you're saying, bro. I know it's not pertaining to Pop Smoke and the Parker City not pertaining to Juice World, but there's a there's a line, bro. There's a line. You gotta you keep, keep crossing the line. Watch what you say, that's all, bro. I, I fuck with your music, I said, but just watch what you say. Cause look at the shit you're saying on a nigga or the dead nigga song. You try to revive him, it's too late. Come on, bro. I put a cake on the drink. Yo, I wish this dude was still alive, bro. Man, what you really? What? Where you, where you, where you get that flow? Where you, where you unlock that? When did you unlock that? Damn, yo. I'm so mad. Oh my gosh. I could have seen Pop Smoke, but New York want NY, NYPD want to be pussies and blocking from Rolling Loud. I could have seen the big woo before he, man. He could have, yo, if he was still alive, he would have he owned this summer. No cap. If he was still alive, he would have owned this summer. Juice World wouldn't have owned this summer. Juice World would have owned the whole year, obviously, because anything he does is his. But Pop Smoke? Oh my. This would have been the best time for drill music when the sun's out, sun's out, guns out. All you was hearing in Brooklyn was Pop Smoke, Dior, Dior. That's all you was hearing. Walk down the block, you hear Pop Smoke. Walk further down the block, you hear another car passing Pop Smoke. You in a store, you hear Pop Smoke. You at home, you hear Pop Smoke. So imagine if you're like, Yep, that was basically the end of the album. The next song is um needed. Which I heard multiple times before. So yeah, that was culture thing. Oh man. Culture! Three! I wonder if it's gonna be a culture four. What's the what's the, what's the uh, what's the new album name gonna be? Culture four? Nah, they gonna nah. They, they gonna stop at three since there's only three amigos. They gonna stop at three. But I actually like this. They they they, they came back. They came back. They came back. 
he came back. I ain't gonna lie. So there's only like three songs that I didn't like. I've said them already. Uh, my favorite song would have to be maybe Modern Day. Maybe Modern Day or Avalanche. Maybe Modern Day, Avalanche, or Having Our Way. Those are the three top three contestants of being my favorite song of the whole album. I give this album a 9, 8, 8, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. They did a great job. They did a great job. Should I give it 8.5 or just give them a 9? Hmm. I feel like. Hmm. 9? I'll give them an 8.5 because sometimes they will repeat the same bars. I realize that. Like, take off, mention, curtains, and a whatever Cardi said twice in this album. Offset mentioned, man, what did he mention twice? I forgot. Offset mentioned something twice. Like the same shit twice. Like first he mentioned it in the beginning of the album, then he mentioned the same thing at the end of the album, somewhere somewhere between there. If you listen to the album, you'll hear it. But Takeoff and Offset mentioned the same thing twice for some reason. I don't know. It's not like the whole song was mentioned. It's just like a little line. Like the takeoff was curtains in the Rolls Royce or curtains in the Wraith or whatever. Offset was uh, something. I forgot. I just found that a little bit tacky. And they should have caught up on that and stopped it. And told them, hey, switch that. Or oh, cut it out. Like, cut that part out. Instead of just leaving it in. But at least we like the album. I like the album. I'm gonna come back to the album. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Tell me what features you guys think should have been on the album. I think Travis Scott should have been on the album. Y'all gonna mention my nigga, at least put him in a song. You know what I mean? Might as well. But yeah. Culture three. I'm glad that they, they put takeoff in the middle instead of the end of the, of the song. So most of, we all know most of the songs takeoff is in the back. But now, most of these songs in Culture 3, it was Quavo, takeoff, offset. That's how it was going in order. Or it would be takeoff, Quavo, offset. On the rare occasions, maybe like one or two songs, offset was first. And then it would be Quavo take off. But, you know, they, they make smash it. They make smash it. It don't matter. But yeah. That was it. I like the album. Going back to it. Tell me what you guys think. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.